а їх високоповажності. Президент України Володимир Зеленський. Прем'єр-міністр Арабської Республіки Єгипет Мустафа Мадбулі. I'd like to start off by thanking President Zelensky for allowing the seven African countries to participate in this peace mission. This is indeed a historic mission in a quest for peace. And I could say that our mission really revolves around ten key elements. The first one is that we are here to listen, to listen both to President Zelensky and tomorrow we'll be listening to President Putin. And we do so with deep respect for the people of Ukraine, which we have expressed to President Zelensky, but also in recognition of the proposals that they have put forward as a peace formula. We're going to also listen to President Putin with regard to how he sees the road to peace. President Republic of Senegal. This war must be settled and there should be peace through negotiations and diplomatic means. Remercier le président Zelensky there must be a de-escalation of the conflict. Today, as we were here, we heard of missile strikes, and those types of activities are not good for fostering peace. There must be a guarantee for security for all countries. The sixth element is that both countries must ensure that there is movement of grain and fertilizers. What has also brought us here is that Africa is also feeling the negative impact of this war. Our grain prices have gone up and there's a shortage. Fertilizer prices have also shot up. So even as we are thousands of kilometers away as African countries, we are feeling the impact of this war. And we say that when it comes to things like grain and fertilizers, there should be an opening up of the logistics so that grain and fertilizers must get to the market. As we said, this conflict is also affecting African countries negatively. But we want to engage so that a peaceful solution is found. So we welcome President Zelensky's openness that there should be further engagements. And as African leaders, we stand ready and willing to have further engagements. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, may I just uh, start by expressing our gratitude to President uh, Zelensky. Our condolences uh, to those that have uh, passed on um, who otherwise would have been alive today. And life is life, simple and straight. Uh, it does not matter as long as it's life. It's us as a global community who have lost. Obviously, it's not just life, it is property, it's women delivering under difficult circumstances. Our visit to Butcher this morning underscores the challenges and the difficulties that we face. Dislocation, uh, migration, and not just of the people of Ukraine, but as you know, Ukraine, like most of us, are hosts to citizens of the globe, of the world. So there are many, many citizens that have been affected. And so sometimes one would say, what are these African leaders uh, doing in Ukraine and given this war? Every conflict, conflict anywhere, is conflict, is trouble, is instability everywhere. I think it's important to underscore that part. So, Representatives, we can start the press conference. 
Oh, please. There is no war that has no end. Absolutely none. It doesn't matter the circumstances, doesn't matter the aggressor, doesn't matter the victims, but war must come to an end. And it is important that uh, the components that have been covered by my colleagues are taken forward, and we're grateful to, again, the government of Ukraine and President Zelensky for taking our views around the issues of uh, ending this conflict. And uh, it's important for us, as I say, that uh, we on the continent of Africa uh, contribute in a small way, not in competition with anybody, because there have been many efforts uh, like ours. There have been any, many efforts before us uh, to help bring this conflict to some end. So our coming is not in competition with any country, any group, anyone trying to bring peace and stability to this country, to the warring parties, to the continent, obviously to the globe. So with, we believe it's important to make that clear, that uh, we as a group are here to complement the efforts of those before us.